that sort of view that uh, feminism is against men. It just doesn't, it, but from the beginning it never made sense to me. And so um, I was asked recently by a group of young women, in the Young Women Leadership Conference program at Harvard, do I think of myself as a feminist? So I said, yes. I said, would you like to know how I define feminism? So they said, yes. So I said, I thought of feminism as one of the, the great liberation movements in human history. And it is the movement to free democracy from patriarchy. And then I got a bunch of emails after that weekend. This was this Harvard group saying, the one thing I wrote down from the whole weekend was your definition of feminism. But it seems so obvious to me that that's what feminism is. I mean, it's really seeing, and it's easier for women to speak out against patriarchy because we're not so shamed for speaking out as it is. I think Virginia Woolf wrote about that in Three Guineas, actually. Um, but it's seeing how in contradiction with democracy patriarchy is and the costs for both men and women. So that's what I think feminism is, and I think it's an extremely important, you know, incredible historic movement of human liberation. And so, of course, if that's what feminism is, the movement to free democracy from patriarchy, you're going to have a kickback from patriarchy. And that makes, and what is it, the kickback is that feminism is anti-men, and real men are, and all of this. And um, so I think that's why you have to go back to saying, wait a minute, that's not what feminism is. Yeah, and I think you have to define what patriarchy really is, too. Well, you think of patriarchy, yeah, the, the sort of misunderstanding is this sort of men's oppression of women. But um, in fact, here's where the psychological work is key in the developmental work, because it explains why women's voices are so important in this, because if men are initiated, boys are initiated, into patriarchy around these gender things, which is what is a real man and how is manhood constructed. And being a man means not being a girl or being a woman, and it means being on top. That's, that's patriarchal masculinity. And this happens around four and five and six. And girls are initiated into patriarchal femininity, which means being selfless, which is really the most amazing term. Being selfless in order to have relationships. But we just said, if you have no self, you're not in relationship. So it's, it's, it's incoherent, really. But since that doesn't happen until adolescence, girls have more language. And so they can speak about this. And if you silence girls and women, then nobody talks about it. So with all of this, you know, making feminism anti-men, which it's really not, um, or defining patriarchy not as something that divides everyone. It, it, I mean, what does patriarchy mean? It's a hierarchy, which means a rule of priests, in which the hieros, the priest, is a patriarch, a pater, a father. So it divides fathers. It divides some men from other men. You know, the men from the boys. Like African-American men were called boys, not real men. And it divides all men from women. And it places uh, fathers over mothers and children. And in fact, you know, in making those separations, it divides everyone from parts of themselves. So psychologically, patriarchy is always unstable. On the other hand, if you talk about a democratic society, it requires <laughs> that kind of people having voices and being able to speak from their experience, speak honestly from their experience. So the psychological quality then feeds into a truly democratic society. So then you come back to patriarchy is, in, is, is, is contradictory to democracy like slavery is and like imperialism is. And I think that's, I think that's where we are right now in that struggle for men, for women, for people of color, I mean, the whole thing. Well, it's like the title of, of Christina Robb's book, This Changes Everything. It's a shift in the paradigm. It's not like taking the old paradigm, 
and switching it so instead of having men on top, you have women on top. It's, that's the old structure. It's changing the structure. Yeah.